Hi everyone, Lauren here, Community Manager on Two Point Hospital, and I am joined by... Hello, I'm Craig, Brand Manager on Two Point Hospital. And together we make a killer video team, Yes, right? That's what's happening right now. So what we're doing here, this is a video from E3, and it's just, we wanted to get back into it and just have another kind of look at what's going on. So Craig, why don't you just give us an idea of what we're looking at here? Well, it's some beautiful scenes of this university here. Now this is Mitten University. This is one of the uh, teaching hospitals in the game. Um, And this is a little bit different to most of the game levels because in this level, you won't actually be able to hire your own staff. You'll have to train them up. Oh, okay. So it's a complete, it's almost like flipping the challenge a little bit. Like it just kind of mixes it all up. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you'll have to train up your own staff. You'll have to get them the right qualifications. And you'll have to sort of build them up. Now you can see here, we've got a bit of a, a situation going on in, in Mitten. We've got mm-hmm. a bit of a ghost infestation. Classic. Happening right now. What hospital doesn't have ghost infestations? Well, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and in this particular uh, hospital, we don't actually have the janitors with the, the required skills. You can see our mock star sufferer there being terrified by the ghosts. We've got <laughs> clowns being terrified. We've got people running all over the place. This is not a good situation for any hospital to be in. <laughs> Um, and, and you can see here, we're just going through the staff list here and just checking which uh, qualifications our janitor has. Now, in this case, you can see there's no ghost catching ability. So, we're going to sort that out, haven't we? Oh, okay. Okay, so we can make that happen ourselves. We can train people up. We're looking after the community. We're giving people new skills. That's it. Kind just of. Just giving a bit back. Okay. Um, okay. So, so here we're building a room. Now, if you've not seen too much of Two Point Hospital yet, you'll, you, you won't have seen that you can actually lay out your rooms however you want. Um, you can make custom shapes to these rooms. You can place items in there however, however you want, whichever angle you want them positioned at. So here we're just laying out a couple of training rooms and positioning all the bits that we need. So we need a, a lectern and a projector. We need some tables. And you can, you know, you can go crazy with this. There's, there's one level um, when we were doing demos at E3 where I created a little like anatomy structure in the corner with a few chairs are sort of around it nice. like a little sort of shrine to a, to a piece of anatomy creepy um, okay yeah. yeah changed my mind that's not nice that's weird <laughs> but we can see you know the, the room layout stuff it's really intuitive you've got loads of items that you can select mm-hmm. and then, uh, you can drop them into the level dog painting classic dog sorry just notice boards I like the detail yeah absolutely <laughs> don't know whose dog it is uh, and then when you finish the room you get this really satisfying effect okay now you can see we've, we've finished the training room, so we are going to train someone in ghost capture. And is there any kind of, what would make, so can, oh you can train more than one. I was going to say, how do you choose who you're going to train up, but you can do more than more than one at a time, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a bit of a risk reward thing, because as you're training people up, you're mm-hmm. taking them out of their day jobs. Oh, uh, okay. So if we're training up two janitors here. We can train up four, because we've got four desks there. Mm-hmm. Because we're training up two, um, we're actually losing two janitors from the from the shop floor in the hospital, so gotcha. to speak. So there might be rubbish piling up and all kinds of stuff. I see. So here we've got a bit of training going on. Nice display skeleton there in the corner. That is think? nice. That oh, is nice. Beautiful room. Oh, cactus. Yes. Janitors learnt ghost capture and now they're going over to sort out that cactus, which must have been bothering them. Yeah, they've stepped straight out of study to do some work and now they're off to do some more work. Okay. So now you can see now that the, the janitors have been trained up with that ghost catching ability, they can now go and capture, sort of dust bust up these, uh, these ghosts. And as they do that, they're actually gaining research points. Um, so you can find out what killed the person and potentially use the, their ectoplasm or their spiritual form to research and now, learn about the disease. I am a little bit ashamed to say I've been working on this game for six months and I didn't know that. That's yeah. really interesting. It's so you fun. can posthumously learn about yeah. what's going on in the hospital yeah, and you yeah, still yeah. use that in a useful kind of manner. Yeah, it's kind of late huh. to game. You need a research lab to do it. But gotcha. it's, uh, it's a really useful thing. And here you can see we're training up some six psychiatrists. Uh, we're going big on this one because we've got a lot of mock star patients mm-hmm. running around all over the place. So no, oh, there we go. Finish the lesson. Off he goes. He's happy. Uh, and here's our, our mock star uh, victim, I suppose. Victim's a word, yeah. Uh, and there he is, he's been, <laughs> he's been treated. <laughs> so uh, this guy thinks he's a, a rock star, um, don't know which one, but he thinks he's a rock star and he's... Totally unidentifiable right rock star. 
that coffee machine. If you place coffee machines in these rooms, by the way, the doctors that are in that room will use them and that can give them a, a boost to their energy. That's cool. cool. Does it make them happier? It does make them happier. I imagine yeah. it would make them happy. Coffee yeah. makes me happy. Makes them happier, makes them move quicker, makes them more effective at their jobs. And there we go, we've cured, cured Mockstar. Absolutely. Cured. So there we go. And that and that's that's Mitten University. That's one of the levels in Two Point Hospital. There's gonna be a whole ton of different levels mm-hmm. in the game. But this is a great one to kind of show you. Mm-hmm. Oh, we've got an emergency coming in there just at the top. You can see all the patients coming in with the flashing lights oh, yeah. off their heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Really fun level, uh, great one to play, gives a bit of variety and depth to the gameplay. Um, Can't wait for you guys to try it. Yeah, that was rad. Thank you very much, Craig. You're most welcome.